Thanks for watching me drawing video. Thumbs up. Hey. So good morning. This is uh, just a quick sketch of uh, a demon woman uh, with wings. And I'm gonna again. I won't probably keep to this sort of uh, design, but. I just want to draw, I want to sketch some more ideas out before I, well before I just decide on a final sort of drawing. Give her little horns there, and talked about that um, like a black fringe in the that quick warm up Wednesday video, and a short hair bob. Probably remain like that. Um, the hand, I'm not too bothered about. I just want to just messing around with some pauses here. Um, you know, possible pause. Could be like this with the wings outstretched or maybe tucked behind the back, who knows. And the other arm behind there. Might work, might not. <laughs> quick figure drawing like a demon uh, thing there or something I don't know we're just making up as we go along. Just sketching some ideas out. But I do like the idea of this one. Might need a bit more fleshing out though. The other wing in the background, which uh, goes behind that that wing there. Yeah, one possible idea for that demon woman. Um, some of you mentioned uh, a sucker bus. A sucker bus, <laughs> a sucker bus. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be one of them then. <laughs> so got the head pretty much how I want it really just that simple bobbed haircut 
type style. Obviously that would be that hand covering it possibly. It's nice to sketch ideas out and just sort of play with different ideas. Like I said, this might not be the final idea. Still an idea, nonetheless. <laughs> so yeah, that the legs have messed up, but the idea is there, I suppose. Anyway, that's enough for that quick sketching. Time to do something else. Oh, I've got these. Uh, just got them from Pound Shop. Uh, it's not often you find three in a pack from pound shops, so I thought I'd get one. Um, plus I haven't got an orange, I don't think. Well, I've got one in them other packs, which I haven't shown. Well, I've showed yet. Um, got a few weeks ago, but I'm a, I need to do a drawing video with them or something. So yeah, I'm always on the lookout for cheap art materials. And pound shop, three sharpies, jolly good. So this was an old drawing that I did that was going to be like part of that spider series. Um, so I've, I'm coming back to it now. Um, it's been a couple of weeks now. And I think I can save this. I can use it for something. And possibly still be part of that spider illustration series. Which I haven't finished. Um, but still. Uh, I'd like to just try and ink a bit more of this. Because uh, I think it can be saved this drawing. It, I shouldn't really... Um, sort of like get rid of uh, drawings or ideas or just dismiss them straight away I think it's always best to work with them sometimes it's like that um, concept drawing I did the other day you know with the big four colour uh, barrow pen when I started that drawing off I wasn't really sure um, even by the end of it I wasn't really sure but um, it still is a has some qualities to it that I liked, so it was worth sticking through the drawing, even though I didn't fully like it, you know, totally. But still a good idea. So I think it's it's best to stick through with your ideas and just see where they take you. Sometimes it sometimes it could be a waste of time, but. Other times you can surprise yourself by actually finishing off ideas that you thought wasn't going to work and then they just work for some reason. So got that got them legs there. I'm using this brush pen, this Pigma Pigma brush pen. Yeah, still annoying. The end of it is totally flared. I don't know if I can trim that at the end or I might just make it worse. I don't know. Um, so we've got this like head, like an extra mouth coming through that larger mouth, like a baked potato. I think I said last time. <laughs> it's a bit daft, but I think that's why I didn't uh, end up trying to finish this illustration because. I was too caught up in the fact that it looked like a baked potato on legs. But I'll stick through it and try and get somewhere with this. Sometimes it's always worth coming back to drawings, even if it's weeks or months ahead, you know, or later or whatever. Because uh, you can come up with some new ideas for the way it could look or just change things. That's why it's always worth to keep the drawings that you do 
even if you think they're bad you know you never know you might look on it like with fresh eyes you know later on and see something in that that you can sort of change or save so it's always a good a good tip so yeah Another thing that I think I, why I didn't finish or try to finish this drawing was working out the legs in the background, um, how, which direction they would face or something. Um, but I'm going to do that last. I'm going to concentrate on what I've already drawn, and then work that out last. There's no point trying to stay around it and worry about it too much. You just have to work things. Work through them. I like creating like a darker texture just under the legs there. And then we can create a bit of depth or something. Some other thing I haven't uh, checked whether I could change the ink on these. Um, I'll have to check. Obviously it's got a top there, but I don't know if I can take that off or... I don't think you can move that now. I think it might be the black bit. I'll have to chew that off on my tooth. <laughs> Teeth or something, you know, I don't know. Probably see. See you later on. shadow under the body as well there just to help separate it from the legs and the colouring stage will do that as well so one of the interesting things about working you know with these vlogs is I'm always uh, sort of working on different drawings all the time and skipping from you know, one drawing to the other, and um, which is okay, but I would like to finish some stuff. I always keep mentioning that. It's maybe if I say it enough, I'll actually finish some stuff. Um, who knows? Well, so I've always been one to just create new drawings all the time and never really go back to the older ones that I've started and so after I sort of changed my sort of working uh, routine really and just try and do stuff finish stuff so yeah this this head's just coming out to watch I don't draw over the teeth that I've already drawn. Trying to just get a few lines in there of this. And some of these are like little tentacle things because this comes from the bottom of there. Um, almost like an alien type mouth you know it comes from the main mouth and just bears through someone's head or something <laughs> yeah and we can save this drawing but I do have a few other ideas to get out today especially in this vlog let's try and finish the main little bits that I wanted to like just under there and just on the legs I not really thought about the background but I'll probably think of something as I go along I've got the eyes there 
Obviously there'll be four more eyes on the other side. Right, so I thought about doing uh, one of my usual little uh, gimmicks lately is I get a template and I do a circle but in this time I'm going to do something different uh, with it. I'll try and draw something different. Get the circle drawn first. So what I want to do is I want to maybe try and draw a zombie but maybe try where it's like hanging out of the circle like it's about to fall I don't know and maybe mm, <laughs> just get the, the, it might end up looking drunk like a drunk zombie but <laughs> let's get some rags on there Spine there. Where do the, the hands where, or the fingers where that look like they're coming towards us, sort of thing. Slightly. Got the hand there. And maybe this. This is all glass, it's broken through, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, it's a good idea, I suppose. I think we'll concentrate on the head. Let's make sure that arm comes there, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Bits of glass and that. So yeah. I don't know if uh, other zombies can be uh, trying to get in on the act. Possibly. You never know. Zombies in the background. Who knows? <laughs> Could be fun. Yeah, zombies. Sometimes have some good ideas. I think it's really useful drawing these um, like templates. I'd like to find the other templates, these ones, and just try and do different shapes that I can, you know, even like um, set um, not circles. These are circles, like rectangles or triangles. But I don't know. It's just working out different shapes and stuff, and trying to draw stuff and just. Just be part of the drawing, really. I don't know. It's I like working stuff out like this. So it might work, it might not work, but at least you've had a go. Maybe a bit of glass. 
glass. <laughs> Stuck through the jar there. Dribble. zoom in slightly a bit so really the focus is on, on this zombie at the at the front I'd like to draw him up here monkey arm possibly oh, maybe there's a, a bite mark on his arm looking hand but that's that's manageable that bit yeah, it's probably more glass falling yeah try and flesh out this zombie face a bit more bit of a thin hair sort of comb over <laughs> bit of shadow under the eyes and that yes And downwards, like it's looking for an escape, and then they've just about found it, or not an escape, but maybe people to eat because <laughs> they are zombies after all. I like it when I draw a drawing comes together, sort of thing. I sort of hate it when a drawing doesn't appear on the page, but yeah, I can work with this so. Fun. Fun to draw. This other arm over there. Very larger chunks of glass. Some bits of glass that are still, still there. Yeah. I don't forget this zombie in the background. He's got a word expression on his face, so he's sort of like. Uh, He's worried if he's gonna uh, get to eat because <laughs> he's a bit hungry. So that's why he's got a daft, worried expression on his face. And he's got a bit of daft hair as well, just a few little bits. <laughs> So 
So yeah, I like to do a few missing teeth on these zombies. So it looks like they've been, you know, biting and stuff, and then the teeth have just fell out. Do a bit of a hobo's jacket on that one. <laughs> the background there. Mm, very lots of filth and slime there, and rotten skin and stuff. that zombie, the spine sticking out a bit, some rotten flesh and shit all there. going to be a quite a, an okay illustration actually so yeah I'm happy with this one finally some drawings working out for a change <laughs> that'll be that hand that goes off the page well sort that out I think yeah, I'll just draw some more glass So I gave this uh, drawing a bit of the old uh, brush pen um, treatment, just a few of the outlines, a bit of the shadows, and uh, the shadows on that jacket on that zombie in the background. And now I've just got a uni pin fan liner, uh, I can just go over most of the rest. Um, oh, I think this, this is the one that's nearly running out, I'll just get the, get the other one. Uh, which is a 0.1 that's a bit better so I need to go over some of the thinner sort of lines such as the teeth and things In this illustration actually sometimes you just find it you know inspiration or you know in the drawings that you create and I've sort of inspired myself I think for this one <laughs> still keep that um, dodgy looking comb over hairstyle <laughs> Uh, zombie-ish I think <laughs> not seen too many zombies wearing that hairstyle but um, maybe I'll try and look out on the walking dead to see if I see any with that hairstyle you know what I don't think I have seen in the walking dead um, I don't think I've seen a clown zombie yet <laughs> I'd just like to see one that'd, that'd be crazy just to see like uh, Clown zombie, that'd be awesome. Anyway, <laughs> just a little uh, going off on a little tangent there. Usual crazy thoughts when I'm trying to draw and stuff. My mind wanders. Like often I've thought about what colour Oompa Loompa's shit would be, but I'm, I'm I'm saying it could be orange, like with little green dots in it or something but I don't know I suppose it could be 
open the, to discussion. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just uh, just amusing myself really. <clears throat> yeah, just trying to draw some details on this. Trying to flush everything out. Oh, it's important I keep that bit of glass stuck in his jaw like that. Just think that looks quite effective. Blood dripping off there. Do something about this squeaky chair. Put some oil on it or something. No, no, I'm talking shite when I just <laughs> mention about the chair. Anyway, yeah. It's looking good. Also, I can work out the, a lot more of the shadows once I get this thinner pen. I can do some cross hatching here and there. And a lot of the details. Don't like the rags of that shirt a bit more. I was going to do that glass bit like skewering his tongue but maybe in another drawing <laughs> I, might, I thought it might have been too small I probably wouldn't notice but I think uh, going through his jaw is quite effective done in this first. Lots of the glass broken on the edges. Yeah. It's quite effective anyway the way that I've done this. Um, that's why it's always useful to do like shapes and stuff and try and draw stuff coming out of the shapes or within the shapes. I don't know. There's some mad shape. So I've nearly finished the inking on this one. Uh, this just like minor details, like the arm and things like that. Uh, even though the background zombie like looks like um, is this like waving his hand like hi mom. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It just looks a bit. Um, still, it's a good drawing though. I like, I like the way it turned out. Even though I've still got a few details to do, really, um, mainly minor details, just here and there. Um, I'm going to do a bit more cross hatching just where it needs it. Just a few little details. Let's 
so yeah, like I said, the arm needs a bit more. Really decayed looking arm, I think. the that hand down here but I think it could benefit from some thicker lines just underneath and here and there but we'll do them later. No rush. Um, I don't know where to do like a black sort of background knocking the camera again. Um, in between I don't know I could do. Maybe do a bit more little shards of glass here and there. Yeah. But yeah, I like the look of this one. Um, I'll just have to decide on whether doing like a black in a background or... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So right now it's just minor details. Yep. Yeah. I'll just carry on doing bits throughout the night. I'm going to end this vlog now and I'll see you in the next vlog. Hopefully I've got a drawing video coming out. Definitely. Hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed watching that and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.